This gorilla is simply called the old driver, crash or jack, change the tire, screwing hand to hand, and a wave of operations down. The truck driver was dumbfounded because he did not know that the gorilla in front of him is, in fact, billionaire Bob, who is pretending to be one. He cheated the bank of tens of billions of dollars and is wanted nationwide. His girlfriend Amy had a bright idea. She gave him an idea. Let Bob pretend to be a gorilla. If the name of the Zooter matches, you can avoid the search and smuggle yourself out of the country. But I didn't expect their perfect plan to collide with an unlucky driver who had just arrived on Chunghua Avenue and whose car tire was about to blow out. On his first day as a driver, Charlie, whose driver's license is not yet valid, wonders who will change what tire. He took the tools for half a day. The screws are untouched. Bob is very speechless, really cannot look down, and is frantically implying that he can handle it. Charlie laughed out loud. A gorilla. And how can you change the tires? Charlie, with a serious expression on his face, decided half-heartedly to let the gorilla out to try. Simply observe the gorilla's ability to take the spare tire, set up the jack, remove the old tire, and screw it on. His whole process was quite professional, with a whole Charlie Ebdo face of confusion. When finished, he did not forget to take the initiative and return to the cage. I thought I could change the tires and everything would be fine, which made me think, Bup, this guy is really unprofessional. They didn't get very far. The truck got out of the jam again. It turns out that the fuel tank had bottomed out. Charlie has just gained experience. He directly opened the cage this time and let the gorilla into the back of the car. Bob is stifled to the point of no return, but in order to sneak out from behind the camera, he can only work hard. But even so, the truck still did not move half a meter, remaining in the same place. At this point, Bob suddenly remembered something and ran to the front to see that the idiot really forgot to release the handbrake, which finally moved the truck. Bob was out of breath, but didn't have time to smile. The guy had forgotten about him, a down scene meters downhill. Bob had an idea, grabbed a bicycle, and then chased it up. Wildly ringing the bell and kicking the pedals, passers-by were all taken aback. When the truck turned into the gas station, the bicycle suddenly lost its brakes, and Bob was too late to react. Charlie turned his head and saw that the gorilla was still in the cage, completely unaware of what had just happened. Charlie had barely finished filling up when he touched his pocket. The boss wanted to beat him, and Bob wanted to kill him. When he was at a loss, the acrobatic show on the roadside caught Charlie's attention. He had a bright idea and turned his head to look at the gorilla. Making eye contact, Bob understood Charlie's meaning and fell to the ground. Paralyzed, in this way, the big boss, who is worth $150 billion, was forced to perform in the street. He twisted his butt 600 times and pounded his chest 800 times, not only paying off the gas money, but also making a small extra profit. But who would have thought that it was this wonderful performance that actually brought them no small amount of trouble? A circus owner, looking at the gorilla's talent, sneaked into the back of the van, ready to lure the gorilla. Just then, the boss found the van key unplugged, so he stole the car with the monkey. Charlie was chased all the way to a circus. Bob saw Charlie excitedly speaking almost human words. In order to get back the car keys, Charlie secretly found the owner of the circus and found that the boss turned out to be a bad person. He not only lusted after Abby's beauty, but also held her against her will on the grounds of the contract. Seeing that Abby is so miserable, Charlie takes the opportunity to offer cooperation. He helps Abby steal the contract and lets Abby use the beauty trick to help him get back the car keys. Their plan is good, but it doesn't go well. Charlie is discovered by a clown, but luckily the contract is in hand and Abby has the car keys. They quickly rush to the van and they finally escape. However, their escape route had puddles and was bumpy and the cage rope began to loosen. Eventually, Bob passed out on the spot after a sharp break. If the gorilla has any shortcomings, his career as a driver is also considered completely finished. The good thing is that Abby knows a pet hospital, but it does not seem to be doing well. Since opening, no work has been received, and the veterinarians are so excited to see customers show up that they can't even tell the doors apart. They teamed up to carry the gorilla into the room for a full body checkup. Not to check, a check was shocking, the heartbeat was all gone, just arranged the aftercare. It turns out that the veterinarian's stethoscope did not work, which can make Charlie scared. Since the gorilla still has vital signs, the veterinarian decided to use his skews. Bob was electric, screaming, fainting and waking up. Fainting and waking up couldn't wake up in a single moment, and in this wave of operation, I can only give him 82 points. The remaining 18 points 
please send to the comments in the form of 666. You will definitely see unexpected surprises. Using this time, Charlie decided to send Abby to the nearby station first. But they just left the front foot, the veterinarian side. Within 80 meters syringe lit up, an overdose of drugs. So that Bob began to freak out. He turned into a concentrated version of Donkey Kong. And the vet shivered in fear. He went straight to the bottom of the table to save his life and looked in danger. But the gorilla locked his eyes on the table chest and gestured to the vet to play a game with himself. It turns out that Bob usually loves to play chess. And it just so happens that the vet does too. But it doesn't take long for the vet to be defeated by Bob. The vet was incredulous and rushed to call his old rival. He said that he had found a chess master and that he would be able to beat him this time. The old opponent is a forest ranger, although he could not resist. He has no spare time now, because just now a plane crashed into the mountain forest, and a gorilla ran out of it. They have to catch it as soon as possible. The veterinarian and Bob don't mind. They're in a good mood while drinking. After a while, they were drunk. They got on the tricycle to set off, ready to go to the old rival comparison. But this road was full of potholes. The tricycle hit the bridge pier, and it fell apart on the spot. Bob was suddenly sober and hit a rock. And he flew straight into the theater where the show was being performed. The audience was so angry that they had to chase after a lesson. Bob saw the situation and dashed into the woods. But he tripped over a stone and landed on the branches of a tree. And the real gorilla bounced down. A man walked over it arrogantly. And the next second, he slapped the fly several meters away. At this point, Charlie and Bob's girlfriend, Amy, had successfully rendezvoused with the intention of delivery, hearing that the gorilla broke into a bakery. They sought help all the way over. Amy was overjoyed when they saw the gorilla in front of them and said the boat was ready to smuggle him out. But no matter how Amy spoke, the gorilla never responded. Amy thought that Bob was too deep in the drama and had not slowed down for a while. Who knows if Charlie used a few bananas and succeeded in luring it out. Passing by the public toilet, Charlie wanted to go but did not expect Bob to be hiding inside. He heard someone come in, got scared, and ran away. Hearing the voice so familiar, Bob rushed to stand up. Charlie was frightened all over, immediately put on their pants, and broke the door to escape. The ranger arrived just in time because there was a gun down. The real gorilla, anesthetized and suffering all the way to Bob, can no longer pretend to go on. He ripped off the gorilla mask, and Charlie then understood why the gorilla was so smart. Seeing Bob and Amy board the speedboat to escape, Charlie chased after them. As he reached to grab a rope, Bob was angry, picked up a flare gun, and shot at Charlie. Charlie quickly counterattacked, grabbed a banana, and threw it over. Finally, the bank was cheated out of tens of billions of dollars by wanted criminals who were apprehended. And Charlie also got rewarded. He not only became the hero of the whole country, but also got a one dollar. Five million bonus, who says salted fish cannot turn over. As long as there is an opportunity, a poor loser can also be a human quality male. Thank you for bringing these photos to our attention. You will never be lost the next time we update.